have the law of signs. What is it used for? Why is this important? Well, you can use the law of signs to find the unknowns on any triangle. You must be given an angle and the opposite side. So what clues you in on using the law of signs is, do I have an angle? Do I have the opposite side? And do I have any other piece of information about a side or an angle? You can use the law of signs. I'm gonna use this B value since it's the angle B, so it'll be the sine of B over the length of side B, which is opposite angle B. So it's going to be the sine of B, which we know is 65 degrees. So make sure your calculator is in degree mode over 10, which is the length of side B equals the sine of C, which is unknown over the length C, which is opposite C. We're going to cross multiply to solve this proportion. So you're going to get eight times the sine of 65 equals 10 times the sine of C. All right, we want the sine of C so by itself. So we're going to divide by 10. All right, so we have that when you put this in a calculator, 0 0.725 equals the sine of C. All right, now you need to take the sine inverse. Sine inverse of 0 0.725 will give you the angle C. That angle is 46.47, which is angle C, 46.47. Since you know two angles of this triangle, could we find the third angle if they add up to 180? Definitely, it is 68.53. And I'm going to find side A using the same method, except we're given an angle, not a side. So how I would do that is sine of 65 over 10 equals the sine of A, which we know what A is. A is 68.53. over the side A, which is the unknown. All right, so cross multiply here. You have A sine of 65 equals 10 times the sine of 68.53. All right, now divide by, but what do we need to solve for? We need to solve for A. Divide by the sine of 65. Divide by sine of 65. So A, these will cancel, will equal 10 times the sine of 68.53 divided by the sine of 65. You plug that into your calculator, you will get 10.26, which is today's date, my birthday.